Hi everyone and welcome to the first video of the section where we learn about Firefly's generative fill functionality. We will begin by learning how to add new objects to your existing image. For the demo, I'll be using images that I've prepared in advance and saved to my local drive. In addition to this, you can also access generative fill directly from the text to image functionality with just one click, as both of them are seamlessly integrated. So you can first generate an image with the text prompt and then get straight into generative fill to make any necessary adjustments. How convenient is that? Let's open Firefly to see the generative fill in action. Okay, let's open Firefly at firefly.adobe.com and from here we go to generative fill. To start working with generative fill, you can either upload your image from the local drive or you can choose one from the Firefly gallery. For this demo, I'll upload an image from my local drive, so I'll click Upload and then choose an image from this demo folder. Okay, here is my picture of a beautiful uh, desert landscape. As we are experimenting with generating new objects, let's try to add skyscrapers on the background of this image. To add an object, select Insert on the left-hand side panel and on the Control tab below, select Add. Let's also change the size of our brush. For this, I'll click on Settings and you will see this slider that you can move to modify the brush size. For my work, I will reduce the brush size to about 30%. You can also change the brush size by clicking on the right and left brackets on your keyboard. Let me show how it works. So right now I'm clicking on the left bracket on my keyboard and you see that the brush size became very small. That's very convenient, so I will use this method moving forward with other tutorials for generative fill. Okay, let me adjust the brush size again and let's select an area where we want a new object to appear. I'll select a rectangle and paint over the entire area. Let's also remove these trees from the background. Okay, I'm fine with this shape. And let me write down my first prompt. Modern urban skyscrapers. And I'll hit generate. All right, we've got pretty decent results for the first group of images. I really like them. And you see that the skyscrapers were placed exactly inside the area that we painted out. But for my example, I'd like the skyscrapers to be of different height. Let me click Cancel and change this selected area. To modify your selection, you can click on Subtract and then you can completely erase the selection or just the parts that you want to remove. So let me remove the entire area and paint it over again. I'll click Add and draw more complicated pattern. And I'll paint over the entire area. 
to show Firefly that I want my new objects to be placed inside the entire area. Okay, I'm happy with this prompt, so I'll leave it without any changes and I'll hit generate one more time. Very cool results. So now our cityscape look more complex and sophisticated. I really like this first generation, but if you feel like you want more options from Firefly, you can click more to get other three images you can choose from. All images look great. I like this best, so I'll click keep to continue working with the same image. Now let's add something on the foreground of our picture as well. For this, I'd like to increase the brush size for a bit, so I'm pressing on the right bracket on my keyboard. And let me choose an area where I want a new object to appear. I'll choose this rectangle, brush it over. And I'll type my next prompt. Several camels are resting on the sand. Let's hit generate. Very nice results. Let me press cancel and add a few more descriptors into the prompt. So I'll write with saddles and blankets in red, white and green. And I'll click generate. Amazing results, isn't it? Let's click more to see if we can get even better variations from Firefly. I really like this striking contrast between the natural desert landscape and man-made urban development. The pictures we've got are very realistic and I think they don't look like they were generated with AI. I like this image best, so I'll click on Keep. And of course, you can continue including more objects if you feel like it. Or if you are done with your image, you can download it to your local drive. For this, click on Download. We have a warning regarding content credentials that, as always, will be applied to our picture. I'll click Continue. And all done. We see that picture has been saved to our local drive. Let's also explore what other actions are available for you here in the Generative field. If I click on the three dot icon, we see that you have several more actions that you can do with this picture in Adobe Express. We will explore all of these actions later on in the course. If I click on share, I can continue working with the picture in Adobe Express. And this is a new icon that replaced an old one a laboratory flask icon that you've seen in the previous tutorials on text-to-image functionality. Yes, Firefly team is actively working on their product. And as you can see, they introduced some modifications to their product interface. So let's see what you can do when clicking on this icon. So you can submit an idea or feature request to Firefly team. 
You can also report a bug or a problem when using Firefly. You can join Firefly community, rate Firefly images, or join their Discord group. For this tutorial, I've prepared a couple of other images where I want to add some new objects with generative field. So let's do this. All right, that's it for the tutorial on how to add new content to existing images. I hope that you like the generative field functionality. Please let me know if you think it will be useful in your work process. And I'll see you in the next video, where we will talk about how to remove undesired content from your image.